hey guys what's up welcome back to my channel and if you're seeing my face for the very first time hello there please do well to hit on the red subscribe button please just consider try manage i beg hit on that red subscribe button and subscribe to the channel and turn on your notification bell so that you'll be informed whenever i post a new video and give this video a thumbs up leave me a comment down below guys see this baby ninja housemate saying it's getting too much of them like i don't i don't understand okay let me i don't know if i should start from the lucy wahala or i should start from the watoni and viz wahala in fact their wahala is just too much at this point they have wahala more than me that is even bringing you guys the gist to get okay let's start from v and watoni i don't know if they are dragging bed space like v and the um, tolani badge actually moved watoni's bed space to um somewhere else adding but what is feeling like she moved the, the bed so that she won't be close to her man like tolani badge in her head prince is her man so she had to ask v for her to help her they move what on his bed and then for some reason i don't even know you know this kind of they sometimes will not give you the full gist like put the camera when one has to start the gist when it just starts when the when the drama is starting immediately Kayode will not do his work. So Kayode just brought the camera and V and Watoni, they were having some fracas. They were quarreling and I was like, because of man, the man that you people don't even know, as in, it's here, it, what, what I feel like uh, this um, baby Ninja house with, especially the ladies say, uh, if they don't come together, the guys will end up, this show will end up like guys being more than girls, like no cap this is that's what i feel will happen because everybody is having one issue with the other person it's either nengi is having issues with dorothy or dorothy is having issues with this lucy and let, let me even talk about lucy's own as in watoni and v's own i don't even understand they are just dragging a man that they are not even sure because prince's head is somewhere else and tolani bad in her head she has a boyfriend so she's she's marking her territory so to say you get so that's just what happened and then i don't even know please guys you guys should tell me for those of you who are watching this show what is auntie lucy's problem with nengi why is she finding a problem as in why is she bitter why is she sad as in why is she always having something to always talk about or just have some sort of beef against nengi okay look at what happened they gave them a tax and they were sharing themselves into five five groups or something and then praise actually picked nengi what auntie now said was that why would she should pick somebody that will add value to the group and not because of emotions or beauty and i was like madam calm down ah -ah, kilo day and then she she was really she was really mad at it you get and i don't understand why she would make such statement besides you've not even weighed this girl's intelligence for us who are viewing we've seen that nengi is also a very smart girl and then for some reason she's always 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 bitter i don't know i I was thinking I can stand her at this point, or I was thinking I can just, you know, find her, but she just feel, Lucy is this kind of a person that she cannot deal with rejection, like, if you, if she brings an idea or this thing, she just feels like things should automatically, everything should go her way. If it doesn't go her way, it doesn't sit down well with her. If it doesn't, if, if whatever she says, because you hear her always complaining, you guys always listen to what I'm saying. My mouth is smelling. Anything I say you don't do, why would I contribute? Madam, they don't have to. It's not like that. You, you can contribute. It, it's just like a group of people gathered and then they are talking about something everybody is agreeing with what they are saying and you just feel like you should bring your own and everybody should forget about what they are already doing and take yours whereas you should understand that it's the contribution they can pick from yours and add because she was having a conversation with dora yesterday and dora was telling her that she needs to calm down she needs to calm down and learn she was like hey, nobody listens to me why then go listen to you why you come there one why you come the house one can do like mommy one can do like auntie one can do like my as in i don't understand learn to just she doesn't know how to work in a group she just feels like if she's in a group she should be anything she says if she says everybody ah this thing i feel we all should stand about it and then maybe people are saying no let's sit she just have a problem with it she doesn't even want to weigh the thing and see if okay i think sitting down is better she just feel like since it, for the fact that i've said it eh it should just be like that madam calm down and at this point that she's going there eh, don't be surprised that on Sunday, the housemates will, def they will just vote Lucy out and then she has lost her because she has refused to calm down. Mommy, calm down. She has refused. She, has, she does not want to calm down. So I don't just understand because Dora has re really spoke to her because the person that is, that is closest to her at this very point ever since Katrina 
left to get so that's just it for those people the ladies are just they are beginning is too much and me i'm i i'm just here to bring you with the gist because as they're having issues it's my own premium content so what am i what is my own moving on to please uh, you guys help me ask lakon what his problem is lakon's palaver his own is just uh, i have told this girl that you like her you you maybe you want to have a thing to do with her erica has told you that ah she likes you as a friend why not leave it at that Lakon has just been going back and forth, carrying the matter, telling everybody, telling she even he even spoke to Keisha yesterday, and Keisha gave uh, Lakon a premium advice. Keisha was like, I think that she is using you and Kidwire, as in Lakon and Kidwire, to just create content for the internet. That that's what she feels. That you should tell her how he actually feels in clear words. If she doesn't agree, then you move on. You get and and he was like, I've told her before. Keisha was like, tell her the second time. You can even tell her third and fourth time. There's no problem about that. You get so Lakon actually took Keisha's advice and called uh, Erica last night and they sat down and they were talking. And he was like, eh, what, what is she saying? Erica was telling him, My Oga, I have told you, I like you intellectually, like the way you talk. I just enjoy it. And I like, yes, the fact that I, I'm attracted to Kidwire physically, even though it doesn't, nothing passes that about me and Kidwire again. And one thing I must say about Kidwire and Erica's relationship, Erica has already made up her mind that it's going to end in premium tears and she knows what she's getting herself into because she knows that, as in, or she feels that um, Kidwire is really, really not sincere about his um, feelings towards her, you get. So she just, they just know that they are both flirting. In fact, the truth of the matter is that they are just both flirting with themselves and she has made up her mind to enjoy it and that's what she told Lakon that yes at this point she came she didn't come into the house to have a relationship with anybody but it has happened between she and Kidwell and she doesn't just want to overthink it she just wants to enjoy the moment I beg you guys should please tell Lakon Lakon was doing really great and now he's using this relationship thing to mix it up and just mess everything up it's just using this relationship thing to spoil their sweet friendship generally people find it very hard to love people that love them they, they, they we enjoy chasing shadows at this very point i know that the person that really really love and is showing it showing it to erica is lakon lakon really loves her or uh, uh, lakon really you know because sometimes he will, say, he will say that okay i just wanted to bear because he was telling her yesterday he just wanted to bear his mind to her and then what is really i think what is really hurting lakon is the fact that sometimes she might be having a conversation with kid uh, with um, erica kid wire will just come her, um, hug her hold her on her waist and give her a peck that's disrespectful kid wire kilo day now calm down you get that's just what has been going on because that's what he was telling um Prince and um, Tricky T, that Kidwire has been disrespectful to him in the sense that sometimes you might be having a conversation with him. Um, this girl, he just comes, and I just feel like Kidwire knows this thing, so he's just he's just obviously marking his territory. Like you can talk to her if you talk to her, Nami get her, and just come to plant a kiss. And he's not finding it funny, and he just feels as if Erica is rubbing this whole shit in his face. And for me, this house is a confined space. And there's no how you can have a relationship with one person and maybe have another person crushing on you and it won't look as if you're rubbing it on each other's face because it's a confined space for crying out loud maybe if they were not together in a confined space like that then it wouldn't pass off or it wouldn't look the way it's looking to lake on so erica was like okay she's going to try her best in fact erica literally dropped the bombshell that she is not attracted to him but she will look for a way she would try not to make it look as if she's rubbing it to his face but i don't feel like she is but kid wire being who he is he's consciously that guy is a is a very good bad guy he's consciously doing it but if you see kid when um, uh, erica having a um, having a conversation with lakon you see her very happy but with kid wire all they do is flirt touch each other and that's just all kid wire and um, erica basically do anyway well that's just it they've just erica has actually told lakon that she cannot have anything to do with him because she is not physically attracted to him and truth be told you have to go for someone you somebody you are also physically attracted to even if she knows that maybe the thing she's having with kid wire might not go too further but she's just enjoying the moment while it lasts so moving on nengi and also 
I don't understand that particular drama that is going on. That triangle, Nengi, Ozo, and Prince, you get. This minute Nengi is with Prince, the next minute Nengi is with Ozo. And then Nengi and Ozo had a conversation yesterday and last night. And they were just talking. Nengi was like, I don't want a relationship. And Ozo was like, I don't want to date you. <laughs> I'm like, Confucian is, hey, it is high time. Eh? Kayo, they just reduces their camera presence. I didn't. Their, their time should be reduced. We are tired of the drama, the whole back and forth secondary school drama. I'm done. Me, I don't want to see it again because at this point, both of them don't want to define what they want. Nengi will sit at one corner or sit with um, Ozo and then they are having a conversation and they are not talking maturely and just define their grounds you get there but and then get, eh, i don't want I, I don't want to have a relationship with us also it's like i don't want to date you so okay, what have what are what have you been trying to do okay you want to play or what i don't understand i don't i don't i don't seriously i don't just get these people and then prince on the other hand was having a conversation while they were talking between that lake and tricky tea gathering prince was like observing that um, Neng is actually playing them actually that he, if they survive this week he's just going to remove himself he's not going to put himself in that situation anymore he will just let her go he cannot put himself in that game's level and I'm like good one that's the best decision you can make if also want to keep going back and forth and I wish Prince can actually just make up his mind and just you know Tolani badge is there Prince Tolani badge is there face Tolani badge he, she likes you you will not stress yourself you will just have it on a platter. So why are you chasing shadows with Nengi, who is obviously playing with you? I don't understand uh, because I don't know who Nengi really likes at this point, if it's also or Prince. Because at this this minute you might just feel like oh, I feel like Nengi likes Ozo. Next minute you might just feel like oh, I feel like Nengi likes Prince. But whoa, at this point she does not. She's not straightforward and she's not ready to be straightforward. So I feel like everybody should just move on like day their day basically so that we'll just know what what this whole hula balloon is about because if prince can successfully remove himself from the equation and let us all keep parambulating with Nengi, i think at some point she would he will understand that Nengi is not ready for the drama so that's just it the drama yesterday has just been back and forth back and forth but that's just what actually happened i just felt like i should come and give you guys the recap so that you guys will not be missing out on anything so thanks so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video do not forget to like comment and share i'll see you guys in my next video